Oh, welcome to the sideboard. One last time here at the StarCityGames.com standard opening in Dallas. Part of the SCG tour here on, brought to you by Ultimate Guard, Tigtone. I hope you're watching tonight. <laughs> We got it all. I am Nick Miller alongside our now standard open champion, Rob Wagner Crankle. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You've got a trophy here. And now this is the story we got to talk about because <laughs> I heard you talking to Todd Anderson, yep. star of Versus Live. Oh, yeah. And you were kind of spending some time at work watching Versus Live, trying to figure out what deck to play. Mm -hmm. And Mono Blue was the deck they were testing and running through the gauntlet. And you said, hey, this looks what I want to be doing. Oh, yeah. I was watching that. I watched Ross Merriam just kind of win by the skin of his teeth a lot. He was just going. He did very well. It was sort of a deck I'd watched uh, Caleb Durward stream a lot. And so I had some, some background on it from that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go play this open. And I'm going to play this deck. So Thursday night, I messaged a couple friends of mine and said, hey, I won't play in the open. What do you think of X, Y, and Z deck? Uh, I was told Drake's wasn't good. Uh, nobody had Sultai for me to borrow. And so I was like, who's got Mono Blue? And so my friend gave me Mono Blue. We drove up here Saturday morning, and the deck did not fail me at all all weekend. Right, and it was the big talking point coming into this weekend. All of the content was oh, yeah. on Mono Blue. You know, Alex Hayne earlier in the week took number one on, you know, Magic Arena on the ladder, mm -hmm. and then everything kind of started cascading from there. The article started coming out. There was yep. a two-hour game podcast about it and and you took Alex Haynes sideboard oh, yeah. guide I, and list and kind of put it to work this weekend yeah I, I did not have enough time to test the deck at all I played maybe two matches total and so I went with what Hayne had put down and it worked for me the, the smart man he knew what he knew what he was doing all right there's people out there who are naysayers about this deck I gotta say I, at the beginning of this week I was not sold on it quite yet but a lot of people showed up. It was the second most popular deck in day two. The matchups for it were there. Uh, of course, Mono White, the bad matchup was there as well. But outside of that, you guys seem to have pretty smooth sailing with this deck. Yeah, I played against a lot of Sultai on game one, or day one, and that was that was a very easy matchup. Uh, won every time I played against that. And then once we got to the top eight, I played against a couple, I played against Esper Control in the finals there, the Nexus deck. The hardest matchup I had in the top eight was definitely the quarterfinals against Tannen on the mirror. He, he just didn't draw his Curious Obsessions. I did it's a very good card but yeah it the deck just per overperformed every time I played against somebody okay and what would you say you know, the deck needs to do moving forward now that everyone is aware this is a thing took down the biggest tournament this weekend it's huge online I'm honestly not sure I don't really like the decks that beat this deck beat it by a mile the games that I lost were nowhere near close so I don't know if there's like things that this deck can really do to cement its bad matchups and make them better if those become prevalent it might just be a very metagame dependent deck okay any uh, shout outs you have a massive group of friends here all looking on yeah definitely uh, shout out to my friend Sean for letting me know shout out to my friend Sean for letting me borrow the deck uh, everybody that wrote up with me Michael Bell at Bell's Gaming Center in Round Rock, Texas. If you're in town, go and visit him. He'll take good care of you. And just everybody I got to play with, Kale, Sam, I'm blanking on your name. <laughs> no, All right. Thanks everybody for coming along. It's been a hell of a ride. All right, well congratulations Rob. Again, I'm gonna send it over to Patrick and Ryan to close it out here in Dallas.